Hola, Taunton High School, and happy World Language Diversity Week. My name is Professor da Silva, and I am one of the Portuguese teachers in this fabulous World Languages department. Um, I would like to first and foremost thank Mrs. Ashley Pacheco Gomez for the opportunity in being a part of the workshops that we have to offer our students and community this week. Um, I'm going to be talking about Fado. Um, so, what is Fado? Uh, Fado is considered to be the sole music of Portugal and was actually granted World Heritage Status by UNESCO. UNESCO is the United Nations Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organization. Um, where did Fado come from? There are many theories about that. Um, some say that Fado came from the men who were set off to sea and left their families behind and Sodad was created from that. Sodad meaning there's no literal translation for so that, but the closest that we can say is either missing someone or missing something. And some say that Fado came from the African rhythms. There are many theories. Um, traditionally, Fado is accompanied by two instruments, but nowadays in today's modernized society, there are a variety of different instruments on stage that are performed with Fado. But traditionally, in the Fado houses, you are accompanied with a viola de fado, which is the acoustic guitar. And I'm showing you my figurines because we all know with this global pandemic that it's been very, very difficult to get together with musicians and singers. Um, and so we're making this work a cappella style. I haven't performed in over a year, so um, we're gonna make this work for you. Um, and then there's also the guitarra portuguesa, the Portuguese guitar. And this is a very unique instrument because it has 12 strings. And I need to say that there is two types of Portuguese guitar. There's one from the university city, which is Coimbra in Portugal. And then there's the other Portuguese guitar from Lisbon, the capital of Portugal. Um, and the difference between the two is that the Coimbra Portuguese guitar is a little wider. This is the, this is a, um, a mimic of uh, the Portuguese guitar in Lisbon. And also the one from Coimbra, the shape up here is a little different as well. So the one from Coimbra is wider and the shape up here is different. Um, and so I became interested in Fado at the age of 16, listening to my madrinha at family gatherings, my godmother sing at family gatherings. She gave me a few cassettes. I started listening along, singing along. People started, you know, um, mentioning, she sings very well, yada, yada, yada. And so I would sing here and there on the weekends at Portuguese restaurants, Portuguese organizations. Word got out, then Tanya started recording and her first album was out by the age of 18. Literally, that's all. That's how it started. Was never part of her choir, never part of, part of a, a church choir nor a school choir. It just happened one day. Liked it, sung it, and I started performing. Um, uh, and I've been given the opportunity to sing Fado, perform Fado in a variety of different places. I've been blessed, literally. I've sung uh, all over the United States, California, uh, Florida, all over New England, Kansas City with the Ensemble Iberica, Washington DC at the Portuguese Embassy, Canada, in Bermuda, and even in Portugal, in the capital, Lisbon, in the Fado houses, as well as in Terceira, in the Azores, the archipelagos of Portugal. So, I'm going to sing to you a fado called Ai Maria, written by one of the divas of fado, uh, who's considered to be the queen of fado, which is Amalia Rodrigues, who is no longer with us today. Um, and she actually brought fado worldwide. Um, so it's because of her that fado has been uh, sung worldwide. She started bringing, bringing fado all over the world. And so I Maria is literally about, um, about a woman waking up early morning and um, she'd go and fetch water and come back home really late. Back in the day, let's, let's remember that back in the day there was no transportation. You would be lucky that your family had a vehicle. But mostly people would transport themselves either by foot or by horse or a donkey. Um, at the time, my paternal family, um, my father's side, was lucky to have a donkey. And so if the donkey was available, then you would use that donkey to travel, either to go get food or go get food, water, 
or, or whatnot, whatever the necessities, necessities were needed. Um, and so Maria would wake up early morning, go get water, come back home late to bring water for her family. Back in the day, many uh, people were given the name Maria. Either he, she, or they would be given Maria with a middle name, either Albertina, Orentina, José, João. So you'd either be called Maria José, Maria João, Maria Albertina, Maria Orentina, yada, 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 yada. There'd be a whole list of middle names. Maria was a very popular name at the time. And so that's why it's called I, Maria, because at the time this song was written, Maria was very popular. And so that's what I'm going to sing to you. I hope you all enjoy Fado. I hope you all enjoy the workshops that are being provided for you this week. Um, the World Languages Department. Huge shout out to Mrs. Pachiku Gilmet uh, in organizing all of this and also for all of our students and um, faculty being a part of these workshops. Thank you and I hope you enjoy Fado and enjoy the rest of the week. Que bonita é a Maria, que bonita, que graça Maria tem. Como ela no cabelo põe a fita, como ela não a sabe por ninguém. Tão bonita no cabelo aquela fita, mal morre a noite, ainda não nasceu o dia. Já da fonte vai Maria, lá vai Maria, lata de água na cabeça. Ai Maria, ai Maria, quando deste mal amanhã se avizinha, meu olho já vão seguindo. Quando o sol de coasse fachada à tardinha, da meu boca já Maria vai ouvindo. Um pobrezinha, mas tem porte de rainha. Mal morre a noite, ainda não nasceu o dia. Chá da fonte, vai Maria. Lá vai Maria, lata de água na cabeça. Ai Maria, ai Maria, mamã à noite ainda não nasceu o dia. Já da fonte vai Maria, lá vai Maria, lata de água na cabeça. Ai Maria, ai Maria. And there you have it. There's some fado. Adeus, até a próxima. Until next time.